Yesterday, we took a little hike. I call it a trek, but we're hiking. And I thought it like, what I imagine is this, you know, big trek and we'd be pretty manly and backpacks and all that stuff. Uh, boy, yesterday, I don't know that if we conquered the mountain or the mountain conquered us. You realize we went to two hills. We didn't hike a mountain, we went to two hills. And it kind of beat us up. This is a big place. That was yesterday. Today, we get in an airplane and we realize what we walked at three to 6,000 feet are dwarfs. Our airplane was below the top of Mount Everest. And Mount Everest has sisters that are nearly as big as her. And someone said it, this is the definition of majesty. In these mountains, every minute of every day, every week of every year, every decade of every millennium, they declare the praise of God perpetually standing at attention to his majesty declaring the glory of God and from our bird's eye view we saw something that few human beings ever see but God sees every single day and it just brought us to our knees what do you suppose would bring God to his knees what do you suppose would cause God to stand at attention and say, now that is amazing? It's not those mountains. That's finger painting for God. What brings God to attention, what causes him to stand, is not when mountains declare the glory of God, but when people declare the name of Jesus. As you flew over a plane looking at the mountains, struck by awe and wonder, from God's perspective as He looks down on us, it's not the first five days of creation. That, He said, is good. But it was the last day of creation when He said, that's very good. That's you. That's you. When we make the name of Jesus famous, mountains aren't the big deal for God is the valleys. When we come off the mountain and let the inspiration of the mountain become application in our lives. This is a city of six million people heading to a Christless eternity. Over 99% heading to a Christless eternity. And I know we discussed yesterday, what if someone has never heard, will God still judge? It's an irrelevant question. Because the best way for them to come to know God is to hear the name of Jesus. We have the name of Jesus. How can we be silent in the face of a sea of red heading to an eternity without Christ? So I want to recite the last thing Jesus ever said from a mountain. And I want you to join me along this rail. Let's just all gather and look at the valley below us. All authority has been given to me in heaven and on earth. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit and teaching them to observe everything that I've commanded you. And behold, I'm with you always, even to the end of the age.